Hello my friends, I am back again. You know, I've not been around for some time just because of one or two things I needed to put in place and I am back for you. And I want to use this opportunity to, to thank you if this is your first time of being here to watch me on YouTube. I so much appreciate your presence and I also say please subscribe to this channel. Subscribe is very important. Subscribe so that you have more to watch you have more to learn subscribe and turn on your notification because when you turn on your notification you'll be able to get more of my videos and know when i've posted and so for those who have subscribed already i salute you guys and i say thank you very much keep watching and keep commenting keep dropping your comment because your comments drop whatever you feel should be dropped will interact in the comment section below okay so today i'm going to talk with us we're going to talk about red oil red oil and its benefits to our health as individuals we are not going to talk about its adverse effects because i believe i want to put this stress before let me put it straight first before i go into the topic of today now you know this there's, there's this saying too much of everything too much of everything everything is not good you know that too much of everything is not good like let me say for example too much of exercise is good for our health but when you do an exercise to the extreme it can create stress effects a rebound stress effect thereby increasing your cortisol hormone do you understand? So likewise, red oil that has its benefit on us can equally have an adverse effect when it is used in essence. Just like you can use sugar. Sugar is good, but excess sugar is what is not good. So now straight to the red oil stuff. You know, red oil is a, is a kind of oil that, that originates from Southwest Africa before it went around the world you know it's, 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 it's native its origin is from south west of africa and this red oil is so so important for us you know many of us use it to do so many things we cook with it we use it to prepare some of the chips that we eat red oil is so important and you and i know but you know in nigeria there is a particular tribe that people consider as in Igbo language they call them the often man you know they are this kind of people that they use a lot of red oil when they are cooking soup yeah ah jeez <laughs> they will use a lot of red oil in their soup you know some persons don't really understand why they do it but they understand the benefits the health benefits of red oil that's why they use it a lot that's and every other part of nigeria and africa and thank god the whole world some years back the whole world has now understood the importance of red oil i could remember then we are told that a particular country in asia and uh, um, was what was the name of this country uh, malaysia malaysia had no palm fruit that could produce a gallon of red oil now they came to west africa particularly in nigeria as a country and they picked some palm fruits and went back to malaysia and they were able to produce they, they planted the seed and today they have what we call palm fruit plantation palm fruit plant palm fruit plantation although nowadays so many people tend to refine red oil but I'm here to talk about the original, unrefined, unrefined red oil. Unrefined red oil has a lot of because this one they've been because some persons process it, but the one that has not been processed contain these two important elements, two important substance or molecule called the carotenoid and an antioxidant now i'm not going to talk about these things in details because our focus is on red oil but these are the components the two components that the red oil has you know 
I'm not going to talk about the processing of the red oil. Of course, most of us know that red oil comes from palm fruit. And when the palm fruit is gotten, it is now processed to bring out the oil. You process the palm fruit. But some persons, after processing the palm fruit, they will not bring out the red oil, which is the main oil. They will not still process the red oil. No, I'm not talking about a processed red oil. I'm talking about unprocessed <laughs> red oil and unrefined red oil and these two elements i mentioned the carotenoid and the antioxidant the carotenoid is what really gives the red oil its reddish or hue color it gives it its reddish or hue color because the carotenoid contains other things called the carotene alpha carotene beta carotene and xanthophils but i'm not going into that but these are the things that make red oil reddish in color now i'm going straight to the benefits of red oil now number one benefit of red oil it reduces it reduces the cholesterol level in your blood it reduces the cholesterol level in your blood you know nowadays now a recent study has shown that red oil has the ability to break down and reduce or decrease the amount of bad cholesterol in your blood you know we have the good cholesterol we could have the bad cholesterol but all these things will come in my subsequent videos okay but now just know that the red oil helps to break down or reduce the bad cholesterol in your body due to the antioxidants due to the antioxidants these antioxidants you know there's a way antioxidants works i don't i don't want to make this video long but because of this antioxidant that helps to release that helps to release some electrons that have been missing or that have been taken away by oxidation in some of the cells so the antioxidant what they do is to replenish the missing electron in some of these cells thereby reducing the reactiveness of this and uh, and uh, uh, oxidative uh, agents so that's the importance of this antioxidant in red oil now one once you if you start taking red oil you often use it to cook your food all the time especially your soup for africans you know now they tend to reduce the bad cholesterol which in turn help the, the, the your heart rate your heart function that's number one now secondly it reduces the the heart disease that you have or you might have progressive heart disease you know now when the, the we use a lot of red oil now it tends to work on the heart and its environs now when this is being digested or ingested it thereabouts when you ingest this red oil it helps not only bringing down or reducing the the bad cholesterol in your system it equally helps the heart the muscles of the heart in pumping adequate blood in functioning way because once your heart is not functioning well it will affect everything in you because every part of your system needs blood every part of your system needs blood and the blood carries a lot of oxygen and the nutrients that we take do you understand so red oil is very good for your heart and the, the third one is it helps the brain the brain health the brain health now the the red oil contains a particular vitamin and this vitamin is what we call the tocotrenols vitamin vitamin e vitamin e vitamin e is so much needed in the brain for its adequate activities and functioning and the red oil contains this vitamin it contains other vitamin but this particular vitamin e is really needed in the day-to-day -day functioning of your brain in the day-to-day -day functioning of your brain and once your brain is functioning you will be devoid of dementia, brain issues, and all those stuff. You will be working excellently. Now, the, 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 the fourth 
importance or the benefit of red oil it's it boosts your vitamin a status you know vitamin a like i said earlier that the the, the components of red oil the component of red oil is the carotenoid and the antioxidant and this carotenoid contains what we call the carotene the alpha carotene these are they, 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 they tend to build up the vitamin a content in your system and vitamin a is so much needed for a good eyesight good eyesight it means a is needed for good eyesight do you understand so it's very very important it's very important that we take um, red oil let's take all these things serious you will know that like i said earlier in the beginning of the video excess excess or excessive use usage of anything is bad but in that vitamin red oil has its own benefits which will so much help our system and i'm going to draw the cutting or the line here so i believe you must have learned one or two so please do not forget subscribe to this channel subscribe to this channel turn on your notification click the like button and drop your comments in my subsequent video i'm going to bring a lot of issues and a lot of things that will help to benefit our health generally thank you and see you some other time